welcome to Ballydorn Farm. Welcome to the Claw dealership. How is everybody doing today? Howdy, Genetic J, Will, Fabio, John, Silent Snails, and everybody else in chat, including DB and UK Truck Stopping Game, Farming Ninja, David, and everyone else who I have not said. We are here on Bally Dorn Farm. This is an Irish map. And, well, how fitting to be on the Irish map with a Kloss dealership to show off the Kloss DLC. I thought that worked out quite nice, actually. So I'm just running a contract down here. While this guy is, uh, let me empty this guy. Then we'll go over there and take a look and see what kind of equipment the uh, dealership's got all sent out for us to take a look at today. Hey, L. Lukey, what's up? So we'll be doing streams on this map. This today, Monday on Mondays and Thursdays, going forward for a while. We'll be doing Slovak Village still on. Wednesdays and Sundays, and we're going to do Nebraska Lands testing on Tuesdays and Saturdays. That leaves the only day that we're not streaming is going to be on Friday. That's when I'm going to be putting together the weekend roundup. This map is Seasons Ready. We will be playing it with Seasons starting here in a little bit. Not tonight. Starting here in a little bit, as in maybe as early as uh, as early as um, this weekend. Hey, American Gamers Farming, what's up? Hey, Thomas. So here we are at the Claw dealership, and how fitting to show off all of the Claw DLC. This thing took me 40 minutes to set up early today. And it turns out that, uh, well, this is Deco. Gosh, what happened there? So this, uh, this trailer has shifted on itself. That tra <laughs> that harvester's decoration, but uh, the rest of this stuff, this thing is shifted too. It wasn't there earlier. So anyway, let's take a look at this. All this stuff in the shop. Oh my gosh! Easiest thing to do is go to Brands and then Kloss. See all this stuff. So we're just going to scroll through it all, then we're going to go back through it all. But I will tell you, you see my balance here, 4556000 Well, other than, other than the hired helper over there running the beet harvester, I started with $10 million around 8 o'clock. And I've bought all of the cost stuff, and I'm down to $4.5 million. So right there, to buy all the cloth stuff, you're talking basically close to five and a half million dollars worth of expenses. So that is a serious, serious pocketbook. So let's go back here. Let's go to cloths. So we've got two forage harvesters. We've got the Jaguar 980, 930, 374,500 dollars. There we go. We can do Midas tires. Y tires, standard. We've got Trelleberg, standard and wide. We've got a Michelin, standard and wide. We can do a standard pipe, a long pipe, and an extra large pipe right there. Size does matter when it comes to your pipe, right? And then we can go the Jaguar 930, 492, 940, 516. 950 at 585, 960 at 626, the 970 at 775 horsepower, and the 980 at a whopping 884 horsepower. That is some serious chop action going on there. That brings the entire cost up here to $592,000. Let's go over here to the Jaguar 960 TerraTrack yourself some tracks. We're going to take a closer look at these because these are 3D modeled tracks. Tracks in-game 
on your harvesters and such. Before this DLC, they were flat textures. These are modeled, 3D modeled. We'll take a look at that and kind of compare them in a little bit. We got Midas, standard. That's for the back tire. Trelleberg, Michelin. There you go. We got Pipe, standard, long. That's our only two choices of pipe there. And, of course, I've got the guided steering in, so that's what that option is there. No engine options on this one. Got the 750 Orbis 7.5 meter. Got the 9 meter Orbis. We'll take a look at those in a little bit. We've got the pickup 300 3 meter brass pickup header. No options on that one. We've got the dress direct disc mower. We can go standard, or we can add these vertical vertical cutters. Design one. They look pretty cool. Like how you can see where we've got hose hookups. Uh, thanks for the sub, Javier. We've got hose hookups there, and when we go to it, we get the hoses in there. That's pretty cool. We get a trailer for the direct disc. Then we move into the harvesters. Hey, Waterhouse Farms. Nitro Dad, what's up? So the harvesters, we've got the what the Tucano 580 Trillbird tires, Michelin tires, Midas tires. Not a lot of configuration options on these harvesters. We've got the Vario 770 grain header. That is 7.7 .7 meters, the corresponding trailer for that grain header. And we have the row crop header, the Tornado Oreo 875 FC. The animation on this thing is pretty sweet, how it folds up and unfolds. Pretty sweet indeed. Six meters on this one. We've got the Lexion 8900. I think this is the big boy, the new model. No configuration options on that one. 790 horsepower, $489,000. 18,000 liter of grain tank. Take a look at that auger up there. We're going to take a look at all this stuff in closer detail as it's running. Looking at animations and stuff. Got the grain header for the big harvester, 12.3 meters. This doesn't fold. This does have a trailer that's associated with it right here. Then we have the grain header for this thing. The grain header, this one doesn't fold up either. So we have a, another corresponding header trailer for the corn header. Then we move into our forage wagons. We have the Cargos 750, 44,500 liter capacity. We have Trelleberg and Michelin tires, standard or wide. We got the Cargos 760, 51,000 liters on this one. And Trelleberg, Michelin, standard or wide tires. We go to the Cargos 9500, forage wagon, Trelleberg tires, standard and wide. Michelin, standard and wide. 53,000 liter capacity. Hey, Josh, what's up? Uh, the DLC is $19.99. Get it from Giants directly using that link right there. Or, of course, you can get it from Steam. I don't think it releases until um, tomorrow on Steam. Then we move into the tractors. And we've got the entire fleet of tractors. I have to say, I think this may be the most complete um, set of tractors in-game. For any one given brand, we've got the um, Arion 4600 or 410 to 46 or 460. Gosh, can't talk. Little old baby tractor, 90 horsepower for the 410 model. You get Trelleberg in standard wheel weights, wide tires, wide with weights, narrows, rear narrow twins. 
Go to Trelleberg. Go to Nokian tires. We can go design standard and take a look here. This is my favorite thing here. We go to the panoramic. We get this bit of glass up here. I'm going to make using the wheel loader on this, the front loader on this, really cool. 410 engine at 90 horsepower, the 420 at 100, 430 at 110, 440 at 120, 450 at 130, and the 460 at 140 horsepower. And of course, we can get the front loader attacher. We go to the 610 660 series. A little bit step up, 145 horsepower. So we just left off at what, 140? Now we're at the 145. Hey, Nighthawk. Hey, Christopher. What's up? Overcord Gaming. So we have Trelleberg in standard. Wheel weights. Wide tires. Wide with weights. Rear twins. Twins all around. Narrows. On Trelleberg, we go to Michelin. We have standard. Wide or wheel weights. Wide tires. Wide with weights. Rear twins. Twins all around in Michelin. We go to Nokian. We have Midas tires and standard wheel weights, rear twins, twins all around, back to standard. We have the 610 at 145, the 630 at 165, the 650 at 185, and the 660 at 205. And this also comes with a front loader attachment, but we don't have the panoramic cab option for this one. Uh, no Nighthawk, this map just got sent to me for testing. Uh, we will be talking about probably a release here in a couple weeks once we manage to get this thing hammered down and uh, test it out thoroughly. So here we are at the Axion 800-870, starting out at 205. Remember, the previous model ended at 205. So we have the Trelleberg in standard. Wheel weights, wide tires, wide with weights, rear twins, twins all around. Michelin in standard, wheel weights, wide, wide with weights, Rear twins, twins all around. Midas in standard, wheel weights, wide, wide with weights. Rear twin, twins all around. Then have the engine, the Axion, Axion 800, 205, 810 at 215, 830 at 235, 840 at 250, 50 at 264, 870 at 295 horsepower. Tops off this thing $229,000 on the 870. Ooh, we're not even halfway done this thing. We get to the Axion 92960. So we have then starting at 325 horsepower. So we got a bit of a jump here. We have Trelleberg in standard. We have wheel weights, wide tires, wide with weights, rear twins, twins all around. Michelin in standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide with weights, rear twins, twins all around. Midas in standard, wide, wheel weights, wide with weights, twin wheels. The Axion 920 at 325 horsepower, the 930 at 355, 940 at 385, 950 at 410, and the 960 at 445 horsepower. $339,000 for that beast. Now we move to what has to be my favorite personal boss tractor. We have the Zeller, the Zeron, or how do you want to say that? 4000 and 5000 series. I just love this thing. Love that model. Love this model to death in 15, the mod. That bundle of hoses. Sweet. This thing has a few tricks up its sleeve, too. So we start out here 435 horsepower. We have Trelleberg, standard, wide, twins, narrows, narrow twins. This is kind of an interesting setup, especially on this map where we have really narrow roads. Back to standard. Then we go to Michelin tires, standard, wide, twin wheels. Narrow tires, narrow twins. I don't know if I like the Trelleberg or Michelin narrow twins more. 
Then we go to Midas. Standard. Wide. Twin wheels. Narrows. We have the Xeron 4,435 horsepower. 4,500. 490 horsepower. That the whole the engine bonnet just gets bigger. We have the 5,000 at 530 horsepower. So decked out here, we've got $400,500. That's a pretty darn good deal, I think, for a 530 horsepower tractor. Now we move into the implements and such. Hey, Noah, Overcord, Corp Nut. Uh, I will uh, I'll try to answer some questions about the map here in a bit once we get through some of this busy portion. So we've got some weights. So these weights are configurable. We have a 600 kilogram weight and a 1200 kilogram weight. See, we kind of put a pin, put an extra weight on the front there. Then we have a 900 kilogram weight and a 1500 kilogram weight. Then we have a 1800 kilogram weight with a front hitch. The others had front pins on them too. Then we have 2000, 2200, 2400, 2600 kilogram weights options. Move into the front loaders. This is for the small Claus tractor. $5,700. This is for the slightly larger Claus tractor. $8,000. Got the front mower, 3.6 meter working with, 13 mile per hour. You have the side mower or the butterfly mowers, 10 meter working with, 13 miles per hour. You have the Torion 939 loader. This takes front loader attachments. You have in the standard front twin wheels. Give it a little bit more stability. And this one takes telehandler. Um, I think this one takes telehandler bucket. No, this one this one takes wheel loader buckets. I've got them around the side. We'll take a look at them in a bit. Trelleberg standard. Front twins. Nokian tires. Minus tires. Back to Trelleberg. Then we go with the Scorpion telehandler. Trelleberg standard Y tires. The Nokian back to the Trelleberg. Then we go with the Torian 914. Big boy. Trelleberg Midas Michelin Nokian back to Trelleberg. Now take a look at how this thing just drops. So the Trelleberg. And then the Midas tires, I mean, they are a lot smaller. This thing just squats to the ground. And the Michelin's a little bigger. Nokia's a little bigger. And then the Trelleberg is the highest ride of all of those. 224 horsepower. And then we move into the balers. We have the Combo Round Bale Wrapper. So this is direct competition to the Claw or the Coon Round Bale Wrapper. We can change the Bale wrapper color and take a look when we do that wrap on the wrapper here back here changes see that Trelleberg or Michelin tires we have the big square baler the quadrant 5300 FC I used this in Slovak I used a mod of this in Slovak village yesterday see how this one works a little bit Trelleberg, Michelin, 230 horsepower, 12 miles per hour working speed. And now we're moving into the pre-order content. So everything that I just showed you was all of the Gloss DLC content. What we're about to go into now is the pre-order bonuses. So we have the Gloss Dominator 108 SL Maxi. The main color. Which honestly don't know what changes. It's changes to cab. Seeing what it changes. Changing the frame. Let's see. 
Yeah, it's changing the frame. That's what it's changing. So 7,800 liters, 221 horsepower, $139,000. You have the C510 header, 5.1 meters. That. Got the header trailer for that header. And then we have what has to be the absolute most ugliest thing I have ever seen in my life. This is the ugliest thing ever. Totally. This is the, I guess, the uh, the secret paint scheme version of the dev version of the Torion 1914. We have Trellebert tires, Midas tires, Michelin, Nokian, and back to Trellebert. And guys, that is that is it. 20 minutes into this thing. I don't know when I started going through all this equipment, just looking at it here in the shop. That took forever. So let's go take a look at this stuff in legit. Take a look at this stuff in legit. Here's the balers. I'm gonna look at this stuff running here in a little bit. As you would expect, really high quality logos, graphics, and everything. Baylor. See what kind of animations this thing has going on it. Got our mowers over here. Got the front mower. Got the side mowers. Butterfly mowers. All this stuff has hose hookups. Thanks for the sub, Levi. Here we have the smaller Kloss harvester. And we've got the corn header here. We're going to unfold that in a minute. Here we have the bigger corn header. We're going to unfold that here later. Small forage header. Big forage header on the big, big tracked Jaguar. Take a look at those tracks. Okay, you can see those now, right? See the size of those? We're going to take a look at some other tracks, in-game tracks here in a moment. That wire, that mesh, that mesh netting there on the top, the rope. Good details on that smaller 930 Jaguar. This is a direct cut trailer. Again, this was parked a lot better sitting here now. As was this thing. That thing slid around on me. That is. That's the smaller grain header. It's the bigger grain header. Here's the massive Harvester Beast. What? That looks like a... Uh, what's that? Looks like a spare... It almost looks like it's a spare uh, output or something. We'll use that here in a little bit. Here we have the small front loader. Larger front loader and then the small tractors. Here's that... There's that panoramic cab. All of these tractors have different engine sounds. We'll take a listen to all of them here in a bit. Here we have the Cargos forage wagon. We have the big Cargos um, trailer. Smaller Cargos trailer over here. That sign. The weights. So that's a 600 kilogram weight. 900. That's the 1800. And then here's the big weight. I didn't get the inter <coughs> I didn't get the interim weights between these. But take a look. We've got different textures here, different metals on the end pieces.
So here is the absolute most ugliest thing I have ever seen in the planet. Take a look at that later. And over here we kind of have the, the loaders. We've got the Lost Scorpion Telehandler. This thing has basically got the longest boom reach in game at this point. Then we have the little loader, which takes front loader buckets. Then we have the medium Torion loader. It takes wheel loader buckets. Then we have the big Torion here. Obviously takes wheel loader stuff. Try to set it up like I would think a dealer would have stuff set up. And let's go inside the dealership. Take a look at some of this other stuff. Here we have the 870. We have the 960 details on the engine in there really nice looking stuff and then we've got lost 5000 with narrow twins and then we've got the Kloss 4000 with its cab flipped around in a basic reverse drive position so that's one of the tricks up this one's sleeve. Get just right down in front of what you got going on. Or you can rotate the whole cab around. And drop it back down and now you're back on the front. That is that. So let's take a listen to these things. Let's listen to the 5,000. Now let's listen to the 960. Eight seventy. The six sixty. Far they all have a little bit different note to them than the little four sixty. Here's the big harvester. That's well, not too loud, is it? Smaller, 580. Let's go over here to the forge harvesters. Big nine sixty. Let's go over here. Scorpion. Little Torian. Medium sized Torian. 
They sound about the same, I think. Big one. Well, there's been some criticism, I think, about the uh, engine sound of this one. And then, of course, we've got the ugliest thing in the world, which sounds the same as the other one. Uh, DB, let me get you a uh, link. Hold on a minute. Here's the Steam link. Ugliest thing in the world. That's right. Fold animations. Pipe. Do you have a pipe light? Don't have a pipe camera. That'd be cool. Get a pipe camera. I don't know if you guys have seen this. This is got some pretty wicked animations. Watch this thing unfold. This will take you a half an hour. Now you're ready for business. Spinning animations on the cutters at the bottom. Chains are animated. I mean, there's all kinds of animations. Try not to get caught up in the in the works. Other animations. We get a little shaker animation back there. Hold this thing back up. We're gonna go find some crop to harvest in a bit. Gonna do some stuff to get to that other trailer. Uh, the doors and windows, no, there's no option to open those. Gotta turn this thing off. Let's go back to this big harvester. Oh, you also you, you need to be on the right side of the harvester. We're pretty darn close to it to get in. Fold this thing. That auger just come out from nowhere. I don't know what the, does this hold the most. What does the uh, the ideal hold? Seventeen thousand. This holds seventeen thousand one hundred. 
And now the 8900 holds 18,000. So this now is the largest harvester base in game. Non modded. Now I know Darren's not a big fan of the EU uh, EU warning signs. Would have been nice to have seen a uh, you know, North American configuration option for sure. There was a bit of a discussion on my Discord earlier about the uh, lock or uh, trailers that locked. Check out this animation. In real life, it looks like just something to break. These definitely lock because when we drop this on here, watch the header because it will shift once we drop it. Oh. Did when I was, of course, now it doesn't do it. Did it when I was, uh, of course. Now it doesn't do it. Up oh, there. I don't know if you guys saw it jump. This one definitely locks in place because you can see it jump. Keep an eye on that trailer. The header. Well, of course not, does it? Now it's just sitting there. Animations on this one. Just your normal animations going on there. Nothing fancy, of course, you can raise and lower that. Get in and out. Did y'all see that jump? Did y'all see it move? Watch the header. There. When it jumps like that, you know it's locked in. I have to say, these trailers were pretty darn easy to back up for the tractor. I think it's because they got really long. Um really long tongues on them. I'm going to stage that. Go harvest in a little bit. Fold the cutter. different animations going on with this. Little pipe light.
fold up. That kind of warps through there a bit. It is neat that it's got wheels. But when it's folded, it kind of has some support wheels there. Help support it going down the road. It's kind of cool. Hey, Thomas. Hold this thing on up. Not too bad with the visibility. Again, we've got those. It's kind of cool. We got those supporting wheels down there. Now, I said I was going to take a look at the get base game. Let's take a look at something that's got tracks. Let's take a look at the axle flow. Oh, here's some. Here's a nice little cool function of the map. I'm gonna have to tell the uh, map author about this one. So when you buy stuff, it they spawn in the shop. Except if you buy these giant headers, you're not getting them. Out, you're not getting them out of these holes, out of these doors. Kind of got to reset those. So here's the in-game tracks, and if you look at those, they're just flat textures. They're not actually tracks. You get far enough away from them, they look like tracks. When you get up here, the act there's no actual tread. Look at them from the side; they're just flat. See? Let's go over here and take a look at these. They're actually modeled. Let's see? They are actually modeled 3D tracks, not just a flat texture. Uh, these are for corn. These are for corn themselves, and then there is a... Where's that mower? Here's the mower, direct, the direct cut. This one is for mowing grass directly. I guess um, foraging grass directly. Uh, what else do we got to show? Of course, these, what they do. Let's go, let's go do some stuff, right? We'll harvest some fields. So, the, who is the map author? Here's the map author. Um, yeah. Oh, Oebo. Uh, I just don't know how to pronounce that. Ready to harvest. Eight. Thirty-one. Field 11. Barley. Perfect. Of each. Oh, let's go in here and take a look at the old harvester. Get this thing out. Here it is unfolded. Really looked at the cab on these things. We have eliminated dashes. Want a corn header for this one? Of course, you can just go here and get the. It's a standard corn header. Capella corn header, and pick. Loss color. Color match on that. Should go with the uh, really small five row. Let's 
go. Harvesting eight. I turned traffic off because, well, driving through these narrow fields, narrow roads with traffic on. So this is Ballydorn Farm. This was a Irish map, or is an Irish map. It came out in 17. Well, this is the same map author that did Rathlin Island. I enjoyed the heck out of Rathlin Island. And a couple weeks ago, the map author, you know, I'm not a giant fan of anim or static animals. Kinda, I kind of give a pass on these because you can't buy that land. So that's not viable. But I kind of give it a pass on that. But. I think I think this map may have had a speed camera through here when uh, when it was in 17. Got some road work. This guy's got an endless bucket of dirt. I think I might have got a speeding ticket. Driving through here in 17. So a couple weeks ago, the map author reached out to me on Facebook and said, Hey, I've been working on uh, Ballydorn Farm. I really enjoyed the heck out of my Rathlin Island Farm. I'd like to give you an opportunity to test it, show it off, premiere it. I said, Hey, I seem to be in the testing and premiering business recently. Let's do it. And then dropped me an interesting bomb. I'm still a little confused about this bomb. Basically told me that this waterfall, kind of a loud waterfall, but you know, we get water down here. Basically, the way I understand it, he's going to give me the choice as to when and where the map gets released. Now I understand it. Feels a little weird saying that. Feels kind of weird thinking that. So, so yeah. Kind of weird. At any rate, I've been thinking for weeks. Where where would this go? Where would this be uploaded to? I'm on the right road. No, I'm not even on the oh my god, I'm not even on the right road. Let's get this turned around. So I've been thinking, where does this get uploaded to? With FSUK gone, PCSG gone. What do you guys think? Where should it go? I guess we're gonna kinda Take a little map tour since I got lost. The creator is there. Oe Bo. That's what his I guess tag tag is. Now we need to go up here and we need to uh, find our way around to field eight. Hey, Raznik, what's up? Alley Dorn Farm, everybody. We'll be doing a proper map video, not map, we'll be doing proper map tours and everything in subsequent streams. Today's stream is all about Kloss. I think this is the road we need to take. Yeah, we need to take this road and then the next left.
Oh no! Oh no! Might as well go to morning. What happens when I, uh, oops the daisy fast forward. Now we need to left turn here. Yeah, see, guest mods, you need to actually host it somewhere first. So you need to basically have your own area to put it. Well, it's kind of tight. But, I mean, I'm not having any trouble getting this giant Lexion harvester and giant header and header trailer around the roads. Did go ahead and buy some animals the other day. On Facebook, you've got to have some place to put it. You gotta have some place with the bandwidth that won't shut you down when uh, you know tons of people start downloading the map. Matt. Perfect. I've been kind of leaning towards Google Drive will shut you down when they see you starting to use a whole bunch of bandwidth. I've been kind of thinking about Nexus mods. The kind of new guy in town. This is good. We can bail this straw too. the wrong dang field. And take a look at that. That is just sweet. See that? Fire helper. See that a little bit more. Fire to help. Let's turn it to now drop a swath. I think Stevie pays for uh, Google Drive because he uses the free version. I think I've seen him make posts before about that. Let's go in cab. Cab. Nostalgic Farmer was saying that the there was a a fill readout in the cab. That must have been on the other harvester. I'm not seeing anything in here showing me how much is in the grain bin. I see a readout over there on speed. I see the clock. Lights on. 
Buttons do light up. Light indicators there. Don't switch lights are on. Have a light indicator for the beacons. This is some dirt. Some treads now. Hire to help her and just let him go do his business. Right down here and get a tractor and a trailer. Cloth stuff doesn't hold green. Just get, just get the Joskins. Uh, no, the map does not do production. Some cab. Oh wait, 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 but we have to go over here. Let's go the long way. Hey, boy versus boredom, what's up? There's all kinds of cool details on the map. Here we've got a school. Deliveries at the rear entrance. Bus stops. Got a Big soccer field or football field, whatever you want to call it, in the back. I'm sure, that lights up at night. Uh, I know this map has lots of seasonal textures that change the given seasons. Need to go straight, straight around the ring road. Uh, Mini Fox, no, it's not out yet. Still in testing. Okay, we got to go over there. Make it rain. Then I won't be able to harvest. Don't we all want to see how these harvesters work? Tree plantation. So I will show. You, I will tell you guys where the guy lives. He told me earlier today. He lives actually right here on the map. Gotta find it. Down here by the docks. Find the right one. We'll be on Nebraska lands tomorrow night streaming that. Here's here's the main farm that you start out at. We'll, we'll be playing the game. We'll be playing the map. Playing the map. Um, later this week.
Tonight we're just gonna use cloth stuff as much of it as we can. I think he's tied up down here somewhere. Might be. I'm sure, you'll watch this later and tell me. Oops. Oh no! In the water. I don't know if it's that one. Fell through the boat. Leave it to me to find all these things, right? That's cool. Does that this work? Oh, that's a boat launch. Doesn't work though. Uh, the pre-order items, well, the ugliest wheel loader in the land, I would say, isn't. But if you're into an older class harvester, then the other one probably is. Yeah, I was floating in the water. I didn't sink. I, didn't, I wasn't standing on the water. Oh. So while the bushes don't have collisions, the fences do. Where you see barbed wire, they do have collisions. You're the kind of person that likes to take shortcuts. Okay, you can take shortcuts. Well, they do that to hide the... Uh, hide like you know the the design body panels break it up so you can't really tell what's uh what's what they do the same thing with cars so there here we have the dominator pre-order harvester header and header trailer then here's the ugliest wheel loader in the land. Just, just, I mean, you got that, but then you got the real legit one right there. So yeah, they'll put fake body panels on. They'll have this whack, whack color paint on it, kind of break up where the body lines are, so you can't really tell the design. You don't know what the finished product's gonna look like. Not sure what the blockiness of the lighting there is. Maybe it's the wrong shader or something. Look at the other harvester working on the uh, on the other header. This is, yeah, it's a test map. Testing it. Hi, right, Fabio. Check you later. And remember, I got to follow the signs for Ballydorn. I think we have a speed trap through here. Find out. To 
find some grass to cut also. seasons as far as from the mod hub no idea when they're going to upload another version to the mod hub I suspect ooh, your turn. I suspect when they are very near ready for the console release the mod hub version will get updated Uh, well, boy versus boredom, it depends on the uh, specs of the laptop. Basically, if the laptop has integrated graphics, then probably not. So it's going to need a dedicated GPU for that. Hey, CW Henzy, what's up? Graphics processing unit, video card. Don't load pretty quick. There. Baylor. On. Load. Of course, this isn't going to wrap. I need to have to go find grass to cut. Let's look at the animations overall. We'll show off the map later. All right, let's go get uh, let's go get some mowers and some grass. this. Let's do this fun with the mowers. With this we can change the driving direction. We already saw that. We can change the steering from all wheel front wheel which in this configuration is rear wheel. We go rear wheel steering which in this configuration configuration is front wheel.
off. This mower setup is pretty good. It's wider than the uh, it's wider than the uh, big M. This mower setup will do 10 meters. All right, let's go find some grass. Let's do close that. Ah, uh, no, the mowers don't join together. No front. Just front wheel steering, the turning radius on this long thing is... a bit impacted. Hey Grizz, what's up? Oh. <laughs> I got out the wrong side of the tractor. We're going to go back to all wheel steering. steering. All right, now we can turn. Fold this. Hey, what's up? I think it's pretty nice. And we can also change Wide spread, we can change the uh, spread on the mower. Back to that down. That went on. So we're on wide spread now. Here you can see wide spread. Let's turn it to. Left control Y. See the little sliders there move. Now we're swath dropping. It doesn't drop to the middle like you think. It just narrows it up a little bit. So that's kind of spread out on the sides. And then that's a bit more gathered together. So it's kind of a little bit misleading, given how the big M mows. This is a heck of a mowing machine. Big old cloth turned around backwards. Yep, 
Yeah. Yeah. There's an interesting animation on that front board. It's kind of wiggling back and forth. around rough ride on this field so I missed is this a map that uh, isn't testing yep yeah this one uh, this is by the same guy that did Rathlin Island reached out to me a couple weeks ago that he was about done with this for 19 Enjoyed watching me do uh, raffling. I don't know if I would uh, be interested in giving this one a spin, testing it out. Well, like, we're not going to move the whole field. I'm just going to move two passes. Gonna windrow this and bail it up with the square and round baler. This, what do you mean auto steer? Six toes. I put in guided steering. I didn't activate it because uh, I didn't want to show it off with these because it's not standard, of course. It's really cool when you switch direction with this. The guy stays in. So on other things like the Vultras, when you flip the cab around, the guy vanishes and then comes back. This one he stays there. Oh yeah, that's cool. Let's get. That's a cool tractor, man. Let's get this one. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and look this up. See how the hoses are going to hook up. Plug in right there. Let's bend row this up real fast. DLC is 1.1 gigs. Massive. I heard you talking about slots today in your video. Yeah, that's for console folks. It's definitely heavy on the slot count. This thing is.
thought I just threw it past the field, but I didn't drive by the field. High five, boy versus a boredom. If you add it to a server, that's a whole gig of stuff. Uh, DLCs don't count towards your storage oh, limit. That's right. Yeah, so it's. DLC stuff's like free storage servers, so that's. Excellent. Cool. Yeah. So on a very heavy map like Nebraska land, it's nearly two gigs just with the map and its required placeables. Having all the cloth stuff not count is very nice. Now, is, did you get a cloth tether or wind rower on the pack? No, no. Huh. Cloth mowers, square baler, round baler, that's all the grass work you get the entire tractor product line from a 90 horsepower tractor all the way up to the Kloss 5000. So unlike all the other tractor lines, you don't have the full product line of John Deere, I don't think. You don't have the full Case IH product line, things like that, but you get the full Kloss line, it seems. Oh, and I started this, I started at 8 o'clock with $10 million. Started stream, I only had $4.5 million. All I did was buy cloth stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the North America website. I know they've got a ton of grass working stuff. Side mowers, they got all. Funny enough, though, that Kloss North America, they don't they don't offer anything smaller than the Axion on their website. Oh, uh, they don't have the Arion or whatever they're called. No, the smallest one they have is the Axion 810. That's the smallest one offered Kloss North America. Valley Dorn Farm, Darren. It's Bally Doll. Looks nice, though. I like the scenery. We're, we're looking right at the map edge. I mean, distance doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's Irish, so yeah, UK ish. Irish. the DLC on Steam. Won't be able to get it tomorrow. But we got the big 5,000. Let's move with it. Let's fail with that. Overkill. 
big 5,000 to bail. Narrow twins, which I thought would work on these really narrow roads. Uh, the Kloss DLC is 1999. Staying bail. Gold. The materials on this, you've got the gold chain or the chrome chain or whatever you want to call that. It's different materials on the uh, bolt heads, the bolts, the rivets. I mean, this different color to them, even the washers. We got a bolt head that's one color, we got a washer that's a different color, and the frame, all right there. there. Phillips screw heads. Working plunger in there. animations. We can Is a fast bailing machine. Let's go back here and get the get another round baler. As opposed to driving that all the way around. As far as price. 76,000 for the Kuhn combo baler. And this one is 78.5. So it's compatible. Comparable in price. Everything you buy at this shop is inside the building. <laughs> it's getting big headers out, out of the building and so Alright, then now we need to, after we do this, we're going to go get that other harvester and we're going to harvest some corn or sunflowers to see that work. Oh. Yeah, and the small wheel loader uses, so the smallest wheel loader is actually a front loader. This is front loader implements. And the medium oh, wheel loader cool. and the big wheel loader actually uses wheel implements. It's 
Put that down. Let's turn it on. Weight belts. Oh, we got animated chains on this thing. Behind this panel that we really don't even see. Chains on this side. Of course, we have to to stop, let it unload, close, well, that was, we kind of got a pushing thing, let's go that later, watch this, let's watch the unload, Watch this bale come up. There's like a pusher thing. It pushes it up. It's pretty cool. That thing just lift up then. Get the wrapper. down here there's the little little so here's the here's the one with the panoramic cab option is it a wheel loader you now actually see lift that all the way up still see what we're doing Lots of things ready to harvest now. Six is that ready to harvest? Two. Sunflower. That's ready to harvest. Let's go do that. Uh, flyover, it's in testing with me. Let's head on over to 33 down by the BGA. It's pretty cool. know how to get to there because we accidentally went there when we were trying to get to the other field. Still got to go get the forge harvesters and do that. Man. A lot in this pack. 26 miles. This harvester's booking it too. 26. One. No. Is it a forge? A 
Well, the the big ideal and the big case, I'm pretty sure do that. So what do you guys think? Is it worth it so far? I think it is. I mean, it's less than a buck an item. Definitely lets you play not John Deere equipment. And we can jump bridges. Oh no, I missed my turn. Excited to miss my turn. Now I have to say, if if this is the new standard, what we can expect out of FS twenty one equipment? With the refinement of all these materials and textures Wasn't that sunflowers? No, what? Here today, gone tomorrow. What are we in field 33? Field 33. Hey, it's sunflowers. Oh no, it's withered. Can't have that. <laughs> Developer. See the unfold on this? on the field junk. So does this one? I don't see a fill indicator in here either. Maybe it's on that old dominator that has the uh, the fill indicator. We're just going to let that run. Go back here and get the Dominator. Let's get this. Get this Kloss thing, or get this thing out of the way. Now, which harvester was that? Uh, the one I just in was the smaller of the two DLC harvesters. Gotcha. Now, did you get the bonus stuff from the pre-order? The I 580. Get, that's what you're in. Yeah, this is the pre-order harvester. 
Then we have the pre-order ugliest wheel loader ever known to man. Right there. Let's find another field to trade to harvest. Now I use that as a mod. Um, that dominator. Two. Curious to see how giants did. It's twenty. Cotton. Uh, let's go to field forty-five. Let's go to field forty-five and just plop a crop in there. Yes, yeah, Seth, you can do that. We did that earlier. Uh, I wonder if that's if that's the uh, fill gauge there. Light up. Yeah, maybe the uh, additional field info, maybe they'll pick up from that. All right, let's go to Brands, Loss. So we've got the two forage harvesters, the forage headers. We've got the pickup header for the forage harvester, the mower for the forage harvester. The header trailer for the mower for the forage harvester. Then we have the small 580 harvester with the grain header and header trailer. The corn header for the small harvester. Then we have the seven, the 8900 large harvester with the grain header, header trailer. Corn and sunflower header and header trailer for that. Then we have two forage wagons, the cargo 750 and 760. Then we've got the pickup wagon, the 9500. Then we've got the Arion 410 to 460, the Arion 610 to 660, the Axion 800 to 870, the Axion 920 to 960, the Zerion 4000, 4500, and 5000. Then we've got some weights. We've got the front loader for the small 410, 460. We've got the other front loader for the 610, 660. Then we've got a front mower, we've got the butterfly mowers, we've got a Torian 639 front loader, we've got the Torian 956 wheel loader, we've got the Scorpion telehandler, we've got the Torian 1914 wheel loader, we've got the round bale unirapper, we've got the Quadrant 5300 square baler, then we move into the pre-order content, we've got the Dominator 108, which is what we're in now, with the header and header trailer, then we have the ugliest wheel loader known to man, also under pre-order content. And that's what you get. <laughs> it's a heck of a list. Did you breathe at all right there, or was that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I heard that if we tie your hands down, you can't talk. So I'm wondering, that's probably why you probably aren't a good, wouldn't be a good doctor, because you can't, you know, instruct the, uh, the, the nurse or whatever and what tool you need while you're in the middle of, of you know, doing your business. Yeah, I talk with my hands. Five. Animated steering wheel when we get in. 
the throttle moves and wheel brakes. Sounds pretty good too. Yeah, all the tractors have uh, unique engine sounds. Yeah, that's. I was worried about that. I was hoping they would just use the generic. I'm not seeing that Phil stuff that Nostalgic was talking about. I have to ask him where he was seeing that. Turn that one off. into the tank yeah I thought he said in discord that it had like a fill gauge fill it out maybe the newer ones here we are in the smaller new one and I don't see it well, the Dominator, that's an older class harvester. I'm wondering if the, the newer generation stuff is... Here's the newest one. This thing has a really cool animation when you are uh, not windrowing. Just putting a swath down there. And then we scatter it to the wind. So, it's a new one. Yeah, I'm not seeing any numbers count up. That swath thing, or that chopper is cool. Uh, I was saying that it's the largest one in game, largest storage capacity. I don't, I don't have that breadth of knowledge to know in production or anything. Find some corn to chop. I've been trying to think of Red Dead gang names. Uh, player names.
kind of went the wrong way. We're going to make this field in corn. 37. Tractor. One of our forage wagons. Argos 750. Holds 44,500. Oh, it just completely missed the turn. Check it later. Oh no, I like the Reapers. Joe Han. Sorry, Is it I Joe was Han? spaced out there for a minute. No, it's not Joanne, but Joe Han. Uh, Seth, there's no date yet. It's in testing. Need to test it. Yo, hand. not owned. And the tracked ones, it has uh, actual 3D model tracks, whereas you know, in-game in -game vehicles that have tracks are just flat textures when you get up close to them. Bottle 3D kind of like the tractor tires on it. That's a nice touch. Tribine is pretty cool looking. Sixty is huge. It does have rear hitches, and I did see on uh, Mr. Sealy P's video that uh, uh, they they take the ball hitch or the pin hitch. Sorry, they take the pin hitch connections, not the ball hitch.
around. Lined up for another pass. Well, thankfully we don't have tire wear, right? We don't have damage. Big forge harvester. Of course, we've got the smaller one. Go down there and see if we can't real quick. Last thing we'll do is grab the small one. Use the pickup head. Let's get the mower head. Mower head has its own little trailer. Cart that around with the uh, harvester. The mower head's cool. Yeah, you get it with a uh, configuration to have the side cutters on it. Let's go over here to this grass field again. See how the mower works real quick. Oh, look at those horns on the side. What a horn. Are you kidding me? Oh, I got the extra long pipe because size of your pipe matters. <laughs> you should uh, start selling some merchandise that can be one of your t-shirts. Put a weight on this thing. Can we use the weights toyed with?
comes with three weights, and all three weights can be reconfigured. So it's really like six or seven weights. All this stuff actually has hoses. Kind of disappointing. A lot of the stuff in game doesn't even have hoses. Like the coon baler tractor is still my favorite. Extra long pipe for the, the big reach. Top speed is 32, according to the speedo. Uh, the front header is moving kind of independent of the of the uh, harvester. Saw that kind of with the uh, lower too. You have the head, the uh, the mower head, and it's moving independent of the, uh, the harvester. All right, guys, that is going to do us for tonight. We'll be back on this map, actually. Playing the map, not playing Kloss. But we use Kloss stuff, but we'll be actually dealing with the map on uh, Thursday. But tomorrow night is going to be Tuesday nights, and Saturday nights are going to be Nebraska lands. Sunday nights and Wednesday nights are going to be Slovak until it's released, and Monday night. And Thursday night will be Valley Dorn Farm. You guys, let me know in the comments. What do you think of the Kloss DLC? I think it's definitely worth it. It's less than a buck per implement. And all of this stuff is really nicely detailed. Runs really well. Looks outstanding. And until next time, happy farming.